All right, all right, all right. Welcome, welcome. Good morning for me. Good afternoon for anybody else. Anybody watching this later on? Awesome. Thank you for jumping in. Stream sponsored by Mini Clip and Ultimate Golf. We're going to jump in and play the Return of the Swing tournament. We're going to see how far we can get. Hopefully, get the whole round in. Morning, Nathan. Yo, Av, what's going on, buddy? So, let's jump right in here and let's go play. The return of the swing simon welcome buddy here's the contact info for simon oh goodness all right here we go oh one let's see what do we get here so return of the swing 18 holes not the greatest ball rewards i mean we get like 18 you know trophy balls if we win probably not gonna happen lots of competition in these 18 holers so here i'm not gonna push it all the way to the front here i could push it all the way to the front and kind of be in that maximum distance hive range but instead i'm gonna lay it up and we're gonna play with the big foot nautical craftsman what's going on buddy good morning to you too thought we'd jump on here real quick this morning and just play a quick maybe nine 18 holes we'll see see how far we can get
All right, so it should put us right here in Bigfoot range. See if we can get some drops. Patrick, watched a little bit of your stream this morning, Patrick. Nicely done. If you guys have not checked out Patrick yet, Patrick's been posting a lot of these playthroughs on his YouTube channel as well. Let's go check it out. All right. You guys ever have issues with that ball guy disappearing? It drives me crazy. But I've heard it's just an iOS um, issue. That's what I've heard. Look at that. It just kind of disappears on you. All you got to do is tap it and it comes right back. But it's still a little bit annoying. All right, we're going to go a little bit more backspin. Let's see. Slide tailwind. I don't think that rolls out enough. It goes back uphill. And we're going to be pulling downhill on our adjustment just slightly. So I'm going to leave it up there. I feel like this is going to be short no matter what. But we're going to see. We're at max. Max Bigfoot, always a good place to be. All right, we're going to go almost three rings here. Let me know how everything looks and sounds. I'm guessing everything sounds good. Or else you guys would have already yelled at me. All right, let's see. Going to be close. It's going to miss left. Oh, it's going to badly miss left and be long. That's a terrible shot. Oh, turn on my arcs, okay? So go up here. Toggle arcs on. There we go. Yoav says he's playing too. Clean and crisp looking. I like to hear it. We like to hear it. Okay, Nautical, that's interesting. He says, one of my club members says the ball guy disappears on his iPhone, but only on the holes that have water. It's not liking the Water World Tournament. I want to say I noticed some of that when I played the Water World Tournament last night. Yeah, I want to say that I noticed that as well. All right, so we're going to blast this one up here. This is a long bar five. Good thing we do have Tailwind here. So Tailwind's going to help us get way up this fairway. Hopefully have a shot at the green. Christian, good morning. All right, let's see where we get with... That club, not going to be able to reach for that one, so we're going to go with the Hellfire. Give us a little bit more distance. Probably going to have to overpower still. 4.2, I don't mind going into a little bit of overpower here. So let's see. Wind's really going to knock this one down. See if we can straighten that up just a little bit once we push up. See right there, my landing spot. Just wanting to turn. Let's go right in there. Just want to get this one close. If we make it, we make it. But honestly, anything close on this one's going to be good. Get it to roll out. Come on, ball, go. All right, anything close there, we'll take it. We'll take it. 13 people in the chat. Thank you so much for jumping in real quick this morning. Let me know in the chat. Got any, any questions, anything that you want to talk about? Yo, I have a nice shot, buddy. That was close. All right, we're going to try to link up with, with Yoav here and kind of watch each other play a little bit. 
All right, so again, we've got headwind. And a tailwind, we can almost get it over there with some sort of a power slice. But I don't want to be in that mid-range. And the issue here is getting this one to Bigfoot. We got to be all the way at the end of this fairway. So we're going to go all the way back here. Go all the way back here and get it into Bigfoot range. Here we go. Jeffrey, what's going on, buddy? And honestly, with streaming here like this, I don't want this to be long and drawn out and boring for you guys, so I try to play as quickly as I can. All right, so now we're in Bigfoot-ish. I came a little bit too far back. I wonder what lightning rod looks like here. I think I'm going to hit lightning rod. Let's hit lightning rod. We came a little bit too far back on the drive. All right, huge bounce off to the right. So we're going to straighten that up just a little bit. Yeah, I like how that looks. Get down in there and see. I think it rolls out there, gets pretty close. So let's see, how many rings are we from Max? We're way back here from Max on the lightning rod. There was 20, way back here. It's almost like 29 rings for max. And with my lightning rod, it's only a lightning rod five. I'm ready to get this thing to six. Then we can really do some damage with it, I think. I need the wind to knock this one down. Here it goes again, disappearing on me. All right, here we go. Coffee is good. I drink Dr. Pepper in the morning. It's probably not as good. <laughs> Oh, come on. It's going to be so close. We got it. Let's go. Let's go with the lightning rod. Let's go. Get on in there. First drop. Joey, how much time did you spend making your ball guide and wind aim chart? So it all starts so... um. I don't know what you mean by ball guide, but the numbers that I use are all based off of the guide for Ultimate Golf. Thanks, Simon. Thanks for the booms. I like seeing that. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Give you some entertainment value on a Sunday morning. So again here, just trying to line up, get it to max Bigfoot range. Leaving ourselves a little bit of room. Yo, I've went straight for it. Get on up there. See, I've got see, I've got headwind. Yo, I've got some tailwind to deal with here. So he was able to get it way up there. But I am not, see, even in that range where he is, I'm not comfortable hitting that shot just yet. I'm not good enough with my wedges. So if I'm gonna hit it up there close to um you know, into that range, I need to be in that no-adjust range. 
So you just blasted it. So I probably could have got it up there that far. I also don't have an RB7. But yeah, even there, even where you're at, I mean, that's going to be a little bit of an adjustment on your wedge. And I'm sure you can make it. I just, I, I can't make those save my life. All right, let's see what this looks like. Pretty straight headwind, so this ought to be one we can make. This ought to be one we can make. Yeah, I see what you're saying, too. That pin placement. All right, let me know when you get ready to shoot, yo, Av, and I'm, if I'm not ready yet, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna, we're going to watch you. All right. So basically on this one, I'm going with ball guide. Looking like it's going to go right in the hole on that second bounce and the wind's going to knock us down. That ball guide sure look look how it makes that turn to the right there. So any turn to the right is gonna be magnified in that wind. Get it real straight. I think I like it. I think I like it. We'll worry about three rings for max. Okay, Yoav's ready. Knock it in, Yoav. Get you one here. We're watching. Get in the hole. Spin back. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, it's just so close. Nice shot. All right, let's see if we can get one. All right, so another pro tip, another pro tip. If you set up your zoom on your iPad, on your accessibility, you can tap and you can get that. Uh, you can get that wind arrow to where it'll zoom in on your screen. Now we can get that wind arrow nice and straight. So just a little pro tip. Now you can make sure that wind arrow is nice and straight. Nope, nope, nope. Don't like it. Don't like it. Wasn't paying attention. Got looking at yo off screen. We're going to fix it. We needed one more. So now I think we're ready. Sorry, this is what I don't want it to do is take forever. You guys don't want to sit here watching me mess with my screen all day. But I like the shot. And I think we can make it. This is going to be kind of a weird bounce, and we're pulling uphill. Hopefully we're not long. Miss left. Oh, we're short. Just short. So close. All right, moving on here. Got a little sidetracked. Need to stay on task here. A lot of factors on that 
particular shot, though. All right. Let's find our spot. Try not to burn through all these trophy balls when I got other ones to use as well. Great shot on the drive. All right, let's see where we're at. Let's see where we're at. So yeah, I was messing around with the new layout on the stream. Thought that looks kind of cool. I mess around with it way too much, honestly. All right, good. Right at max here, coming back about two rings or so. Give us room to adjust. Well, there's lots of elevation on this green and how it's going to roll out. I still think that's long. All right, let's go with that. Looks like it's turning left, doesn't it? That looks better. Like that better? I'm just going to hit it. Normally, I'd go back, readjust it. Go ball. Oh, we're just coming up short. Just coming up short on everything. Jeffrey says, I'm using the Zeus 4 as my wedge. If I set my number grids to 16 rows, that shows... Four lines for the Zeus. Yes, exactly. So every box equals 25%. That's really helpful advice, Jeffrey. I need to spend more time setting up mine. And honestly, I just need to sit down and really get good at using Wedge. I need to maybe just take one tournament and... See, that pin placement, too, is going to be tough for Bigfoot. So maybe on that one, I need to be shooting it up there close to the end of the fairway. And then go ahead and hit a wedge into it, because it's going to be a really tough pin. right up front and it's tailwind this may not be real good for us oh yeah it looks fine so about eight rings for max Do have that tailwind, so we'll take a look. What it's gonna do is gonna bounce out. As we back up, we get a little bit bigger bounce.
All right, Simon. Thanks for jumping in, buddy. Yeah, the red and blue tournaments are excellent for practicing. Absolutely. So I learned to play this game on. All right, let's see if we can get this one. It's going to bounce out just a little bit. Three and a half wind. I think we're going to be okay here. Pulling back down the hill is what concerns me right now. So see, I pulled slightly down the hill, but I didn't pull all the way back into the water. So we're going to be okay. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. Turn just a little bit. So the pulling down the hill there, the change in elevation, what it's doing is it's... It's making me over pull just a little bit. So need to remember that for next time. Next time we have that. Need to remember, we're pulling downhill. We don't need to adjust as much. Unless we're just taking notes on these holes, trying to figure it out. So see this one now, we're going uphill. So going to have huge secondary wind effect on this one. Going to go ahead and cut the wind down. I'm going to hit lightning rod here. I'm going to hit lightning rod because... A, I wasn't far enough with Bigfoot. And two, even with the three backspin, it still looks pretty good. But you see there, what I did was I threw three backspin on my Bigfoot so I could see what the line looked like and then decided... Okay, let's go ahead and hit Lightning Rod. So there's 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. Probably go straight 20 for max. Going to be a lot of secondary wind effect on this one, I think. All right. Three is my wind. Six and a half rings on the lightning rod. I just don't know without a great ball guide. Came back a little bit more. Let's see if it gets up there. I'm afraid of short. I'm afraid of being short. Adam, what's going on, buddy? Guys, you haven't checked out Ultimate Golf Game Elite. Mr. Adam Webster. Go give him a sub on his channel. Got the ultimate shot. Let's see how Lightning Rod comes in here. Go ball! We're right on line. We're short. Mm. I'm leaving everything short this morning. We're leaving everything short. Wow. 
One drop in nine holes. Not great. All right, now here's some tailwind. Here we go. Finally get to send one here. So we're going to break out the Pro D. 15 mile per hour wind. Full top spin. Finally get to send one up here. Adam says, with this course, I always leave a lot short. Never feel comfortable, so always extra adjust. Okay, I'm going to remember that going forward here. Got the ultimate. Send it into the sky. Get it to go. Oh, it's going too far to the left. Go ball. Oh, this is going to be a tough one now. Thought maybe we'd get it a little bit farther. So, I'm not going to use Hive here. The reason I don't use Hive on these type of shots is because I just don't have the ball guide. Zeus has a better ball guide. Zeus has 84. Atlas has 82. But Atlas has the top spin that I want. So we're going Atlas. So I can get the full top spin. It's got good enough of a ball guide if we just leave it short. And the good thing about this shot is it's got straight tailwind. So zoom all the way out. You can see we're just outside the circle. We're going to pull it back just a little bit. See, even when I pull it back, it stays online. All right. Adam says Atlas is the club until Hive 8. So I'm doing something right. Get in here. Yes. We got one. Good. Good. Let's go. A fairly boring and easy shot, but we'll take it. I don't think I make that if we don't have that kind of a, of a wind. That was a very favorable wind on that approach shot. All right, tight little fairway here. Got to get it a long ways or else we're not going to be in Bigfoot range. And it's headwind, so basically just got to blast this one. See how far we can get it. Yeah, it's a fairly boring drop, but I, I still consider it a drop nonetheless. I mean, I had good tailwind. Not everybody's going to make that one. All right, let's see where we're going to be here. We could use lightning rod. Let's take a look at Bigfoot. Take a look at Bigfoot. See what we get. Oh, yeah, we're fine. Good shape. So there's four for Max. Looks good. Now, this is honestly the trouble with using an 80% ball here because I know in straight headwind, with about a four wind, I can put that ball guy going right into the hole. But with a 2.8 wind, it's not going to knock it down as much. It's going to knock it down, but not as much. So I've got the ball guy going just short of the hole now. If 
Got four rings for Max, looking at. Boy, that's got a little turn to it. All right, four. Oh, you just jumped in this bracket too, Adam? I didn't even look at it. I don't even know if it's a bracket of doom or not. Tell you what, right around eight, nine o'clock my time, if I jump into a bracket, it's usually that case. I have to time my bracket entries a little bit better. But I had a couple minutes this morning. It's been a while since we did this, so it was time. It's time to get on here and get a get a stream in. All right, let's see how that looks. Got the ultimate. Oh, it just hopped the hole. See? 2.8 wind. It just doesn't knock it down as much in that straight headwind. Just doesn't have that effect on the ball. That's where we'd rather almost have a trophy ball in there. So short. Or so close. Not short, it was long. All right, more tailwind, but I mean, we're going to look at it, but I don't think there's any way. Fifteen, there's no way we reach up that far. So laying back for sure. It did take a weird bounce, didn't it? Just gonna hit it like that. I think it gets far enough. That's definitely the part of the game right now I've got to get better at is just understanding those little tiny adjustments, those little tiny rolls near the end of the cup. There's some days it doesn't matter what I do. Everything just drops. There's some days nothing drops. Okay, so as we put backspin on it, you see we get that little turn to the left. Straighten that out. Now right at a four tailwind. James, what's going on, buddy? James been killing it lately. All right, so three for Max here. See, so looking at the tailwind, the tailwind's actually, this is with my backspin on, but when I get tailwind, it's gonna actually do more like that. And so I might be looking long here. But my goodness, I've been short all morning, so I don't want to be short again. Get in the hole, you off. See, that went long too, so that scares me. It's 
It's going to be close. Get in. Got it. Let's go. Yes. Oh, that was lightning rod. That wasn't pretty, but it dropped. I'll tell you that. It wasn't pretty, but we got it to drop. We'll take a make over pretty anytime. All right, got to be careful on this one, guys. Got to be careful because it wants to go into that bunker. And I've driven it into the bunker before, so you got to be careful. So I'm going to go full curl to keep it away from the bunker. Hopefully, we'll see. Perfect. Nice. We almost didn't clear the rough there. I've noticed that on that hole, if your initial setup is not right where you see it, you end up short 90% of the time. All right, so on this one, I'm going ball guide over distance. Not even perfectly sure if we can get there or not. Tough par five here. Anything on the green would be nice, but I don't even know if we can get it to the green. Roll ball. Got a nice bounce. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Get tiebreaker points. Good. Good. Take anything on the green there. Get in the hole. There we go. Best we can do there. It's all we can do. 18 people in the chat, guys. Thank you so much for jumping in. Once again, stream is sponsored by Mini Clip and Ultimate Golf. Thanks so much to those guys. Sponsoring the stream. Okay, this is going to be LR as well. Lots of lightning rod shots on this whole on this course. Big sloping green from right to left. See, it's still going left. Right at the hole, it's going left. We gotta straighten that up. Mike says, where do you see what bracket you're in? So all you have to do is, um, you know, you just view your standings. And here you can see who all's in your bracket right now? 24 is at the top of my bracket. And then you'll notice these guys, you know, the, that's like a first name and a last initial. Those are just placeholders. They're not bot scores. I mean, they're bot scores, but they're just placeholders, right? So they're just there until somebody real joins the bracket. Once somebody real joins the bracket, then you take their place. And so by the end of the day, once the bracket's filled up, you'll have all people in there. This is the way the game puts people in. Her, her people say, oh, I'm playing against a bot. No, you're not. It's just the way the game works with filling the brackets. Put a placeholder in there until the bracket fills up.
All right, this one's going to be tough no matter what. Let's give it a look. Miss left, and then it turns left, and then it's just short. It's just short. I need the lightning rod to be at a level six. Give me a little bit better ball guide. Give me a little bit more backspin. I can put it a little bit closer to the hole that way. It just becomes so much more of a better club at level six. And I'm one card away, one card away from lightning rod six. So hopefully by the next time you guys watch, we will have lightning rod six. Oh, everything's telling me I want to just see how far this will go, even in the headwind. We're going to use a gold ball. We got some gold balls. No fun otherwise. Get up there, ball. Here we go. Go, 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 go. All right. Once again, in this weird little wedge range, and we've got crosswind this time. So I'm like right off the bat going, I'm not making this one. But maybe we will. Okay, so Atlas, we got to leave it just a little bit short. It will roll out the rest of the way to the hole. But this is going to be a guesswork all the way, way outside the circle. Going about five clicks. Way outside the circle. I think this still misses right. I think this still misses right. Yes, way right, way right, way right. I just don't know. That's why I just don't hit to that range. Just don't do it. I need some serious help with my wedges. Because that's at least two or three strokes around that I could take off of my game if I can figure that out. You get it up there a little bit closer, automatic, every time. No problem. Like this one, too. If you had Tailwind, go for it. If you got Tailwind, you can almost reach the green. Otherwise, we got to lay back. Don't forget, if you are watching this later on on the channel, you don't have to be watching it live. If you're watching it later on, leave me a comment below and let me know you were here and watching. Love to hear from you. We do have instant royales coming up later. Always a lot of fun. Unfortunately, my Sunday afternoons and Saturday afternoons when instants are going on is like the craziest time. Hard turn to the right here. I like the bounce.
Yeah, Adam, it is. It is. We're playing in the same group. <laughs> this one's going to be really close. Everything's screaming to me like that's going to be long, though. If I back it up and I end up short. All right, let's see. Oh, it's just over adjusted. Just a tick. Just a tick over adjusted. There's a lot of weird little pulls and weird little elevation changes on this course. So remember on 14, you need an under pull. For some reason, you need an under pull. Okay, this is kind of a weird one too, because I, again, look at that, look at that, look at that. Just look at that, 999 on my lightning rod. I need one card, I need one card. And then I get what, what? What does Lightning Rod Six have? Four backspin? Five backspin? I want to say it has like at least four. I know it has at least four backspins. Got to. Do I want to land it back here? Where do I want to land this thing? Land it there, it gets a big old bounce. Land it there, it doesn't get as big of a bounce, but does that get there? Just on the just on the green. You land it just on the green in tailwind or in headwind. It's gonna come in hot. I think I go trophy ball here just to give me a little bit more wind. Maybe the wind knocks that down. It turns right a lot. Ball is going to go. Yeah, I think just right on the green here. If I just wish I had one more backspin. I just had one more backspin. I think this is going to be long too, but we'll see. Let's see. What am, what am I for max here? We are 10. Sixteen. And it's going to go right at the hole. We're doing that ball guide. I think this is still going to be long no matter what I do. Need to set up a cup and a half left. Okay, we're going to set up a cup and a half left.
All right, we set up a cup and a half left. Get in the hole. Okay, y'all, if you missed left. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it hit the pin, guys. I said it needed one more backspin. It hit the pin. How does that not drop? If we just had a half more backspin, that's money. That's money. <laughs> Three to go. Here we go. We were dead on. We were absolutely dead on. Right on the money. I'm getting my lightning rod practice in today. All right, am I straight at it on this one? That for sure rolls out with the tailwind. I'm going to go right at it. Seems pretty straight. Seems pretty straight. Nine point three. Let's see if we get it to roll out. Get in the hole. Come on, lightning rod. Oh, I've I've hit the pen twice with lightning rod now that tailwind just killed us i should have used a, more, a wind ball on that one and cut down the tailwind should have used a wind ball wind ball would have cut down the tailwind just a little bit i think we'd have got that one so close all right, par five. Let's play a um, 70s ball. Let me know if you get that one, Yoav. I think you can make that one. Oh no! Bad, great. That's a round killer. That's a round killer. Bad, great. Just a terrible great ball. Okay, so now what we've got to do, start over, just to save the eagle. Yeah, that was just not good. I lost a little bit of focus there. Oh, Adam says gearhead. What does gearhead have? Let's see. Should I have used that? Let me look. Rough iron. 
gearhead. Oh, 100 top spin on the gearhead. Well, my deal was I was just going to lay up into Bigfoot range, though. Instead of blasting it up there and being short. Full top spin. Yeah, you're right. You're right. My fault. Oh, well. Let's see if we can drop this with the Bigfoot. We saved the eagle. No harm, no foul. Except we take the uh, albatross off the table. Weird bounce on this one for sure. Look at this as this expands. You're going to have to attack it from kind of over here. Yeah, I wanted to be where Yoav was. Chance at Albatross. Look at that thing just turns hard to the left. So how do we straighten that is the question. She just wants to go hard left. I think this is going to be a tough shot no matter what we do. Yeah, Adam, I probably could have. Probably could have tried to get it a little bit closer. Hitting it in the rough there is just a round killer. All right, this is a tough shot. We're going to see if we can save it. Get in there close. It's going to miss left. Just a tough shot. Pulling downhill, over adjusted. Just a tough shot. This is a really tough course. This one's eating me up today. Not hitting it in the, in the rough, though. Can't hit it in the rough. It's no good. Oh, man. We're tied with Yoav going into the 18th. And I needed the extra one just to take the top spot here. And we don't get tailwind on this one either. All right, let's drop one. Drop one and get to 24. Fifteen people still in the chat. Hope you guys have enjoyed yourself. We're on hole eighteen. 
Jamie the Kid GC. What's going on, buddy? Why are you not a mod in my channel? Why is Adam not a mod in my channel? Why isn't Yoav? Let me fix that real quick. Let's go in here. Let's do that. Let's do that. And let's do that. There we go. Okay, now you guys should have wrenches. Well, Jamie, we were doing good, and then we drove one in the rough on the last hole. Kind of killed our round. So now we need this one to get to 24 and be close to the top spot for this tournament. Call it three rings for max. Jamie, $10 donation. Thank you so much, Jamie. Appreciate that. Guys, give Jamie some booms and some love in the chat. Tell him thank you for me. All right, so once again, with this wind, it's not going to do much to this ball guide. It's going to knock it down a little. I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to take one top spin off, or add one top spin to it. Was that yo I've just dropped that? All right, here we go. Nice shot. You're supposed to tell me when you're ready. That way I can zoom out and see it. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can see if we can drop it as well. Taking my time on this one now. What's it do here? Um, what's it do here, Yoav? Does it go left? Not a good pressure player. There you go. Nautical, not a problem at all, buddy. Thank you so much. Yeah, don't watch hole 17. Matter of fact, I may go edit out hole 17. <laughs> Oh, you use lightning rod. You guys are lightning rod users. All right, let me make sure the wind arrow is straight. Once again, just tap on the screen, set up your zoom. Little accessibility settings, set up your zoom. You can zoom right in on the wind arrow. I make it as big as possible. Then you get that thing perfectly straight. The dispersion with lightning rod at max is far more accurate. I put off using it for a long time, but surprises how good it was. Now I have noticed that I, I'm not, 
I'm not against the lightning rod by any means because I've dropped a lot of shots with it. But I need it at a level six. And then I may go like you guys and just use it exclusively. Because I do like the club. All right, give us one to end the stream. Give us one here. Oh, it's going to miss to the right. Yoav said to aim left edge. Oh, it's just so close. Lots of weird little pulls on that one. May have to play that one again later. Nautical said he also uses the magnifier on his phone for compass. I put a line on it so I know it's straight. Lots of ways to do it. 12 and 11. Should have been 12 and 12 if we don't mess up 17. Blah. Yoav comes up with the 24 at the end. Takes the top spot for now. We'll see. Lots of people still going to play this one early on in the day for this one. But that's a fun one. And the thing about these daily tournaments, they're fun to jump into. If you do well, great. Bobby, what is going on? Let me see if I still have Bobby's little thing. I don't think I have it anymore. <laughs> oh, I do. Here you go, Bobby. Team, you're my assistant, okay? You're supposed to back me up and go get me juice boxes when I tell you. Now go get me a juice box. You know who you're talking to. I'm talking to the juice box guy. Juice box guy. He's here. But yeah, that's always a fun one. thing about these is if you look at the rewards on these 18 hole tournaments, so you get 19 Tour Pro trophy balls if you win. And so if you win... You're going to make back and you use all, let's say, premium balls. If you use all 75% balls, you're really only going to win back one trophy ball by the end of it. And so it's not, I mean, I mean, they're fun to play. Not going to be your big ball rewards. This Water World final three round tournament, you can win 50 Tour Pro balls. You're going to end up using, uh, let's see, this one was, I think, 9, 9, and then 18 so that one and then madness madness every weekend you get 76 tour pro balls so if you're smart about how you use your trophy balls and how you use those 75 percent balls um you can build up a stash you can build up a stash i've been playing the game for what is it three four months now and i've got 433 tour pro balls so i'm trying to build up a little stash of them all right, Adam. Thank you so much for coming in. Mr. Ken. <laughs> I'm doing well, buddy. I hope you're doing well, too. All right, so there we go. We'll open the free bag, see if we get a lightning rod card. Nope. Claim our rewards real quick. What do we get? Complete a tournament round. And we scored an eagle. See if we get a lightning rod. We get Orion cards. And we get our tournament ticket. There we go. Definitely not going again on that one. No, I don't I don't I don't think there's really much point in playing those those 18 holers again. They're just fun to jump on to. Fun to jump on to. So guys, thank you so much for coming in and hanging out. Let me switch back here. Once again, thank you so much for hanging out. Stream sponsored by Mini Clip and Ultimate Golf. We'll do it again real soon. Going to jump on. I think Duff's coming back into town. Adam wants to jump on and do some more um, Royales. So lots of content still to come. Make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on your bell notifications. Lots of fun. Going to go hang out. Enjoy my Sunday. You guys do the same. We will catch you on the next one. Thank you so much for each and every one of you coming in. Have fun, guys.